video you saw last week wasn't scripted. I want to apologize to any people I have let down, and I can assure you I never planned for it to go in the direction it did, nor did I ever want to be sorted into Gryffindor. No one wants to be in Gryffindor anymore. Well, I mean, no one is probably putting it a little strongly. Your average Harry Potter fan still does want to be in Gryffindor. But, like, let me paint you a picture of an average Harry Potter fan and stereotypical Gryffindor. They've seen the films once, six years ago, and they only know the names of two houses, so want to be in the good one. Creating a predicament for those of us who aren't your average fan. Because while there are definitely big fans of the Harry Potter series who have the traits of Gryffindors, there are too many fake Gryffindors to give them the time of day. Which is why for so long I thought it was necessary to preach Hufflepuff pride to these people that didn't understand what it meant to be a Hufflepuff or in any other house for that matter. And maybe they were a Hufflepuff but just didn't realise it. Only for absolutely none of these average Harry Potter fans to watch my videos because the reality is if you're an average Harry Potter Potter fan, why would you be watching videos delving into its lore? And I honestly feel like I'm stabbing the little guy in the back by getting the most spoken house, the one where all the main characters are sorted into regardless of their attributes and traits. And while I know a lot of you guys looked up to me for standing up for the outspoken house, and some of you even unsubscribed after the results of my last video, understandably, when you really stop to think about it, and trust me, I put way too much thought into this, while Gryffindor is the most represented house by a long way in the Harry Potter stories, in the Harry Potter fandom, it's by far the least represented. And among the people who watch my videos, Hufflepuff isn't the little guy anymore. They're getting five feature films revolving around one of their own, and Hufflepuff hate is just on decline. And while, yeah, Gryffindor is still the most popular house, the majority of these Gryffindors are fake Gryffindors who don't even have the traits and values of Gryffindor House. And for this exact reason, I'm embarrassed to admit it, but Gryffindor was the house I wanted to get least in the sorting quiz, and everyone else who's done the sorting quiz seemingly had the same mindset. I so desperately didn't want to be seen as a fake fan, I ignored everything that Gryffindor stood for. Forgetting every reason why Gryffindor is considered by so many to be the best house. Like, there's a reason why it hosts almost all the important characters in the Harry Potter series, and I even remember saying in my video, oh, well, Gryffindor's the house I least associate myself with. I'm not even brave. And yeah, I don't have the most obvious traits of bravery. I'm not going to be the kind of person who joins the army and takes a bullet for someone, but... There's so much more to bravery than that. I'd like to think I have courage, and I'd definitely value that as a very important trait for a person to have. Also, my family motto, like the Gorman family motto, is first and last in war. I don't know who came up with that. It was probably my great 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 grandfather, but if that's not a Gryffindor motto, I don't know what is. And beyond that, Gryffindor House is so much more than just bravery. It's about being daring, proud, chivalrous, which are all traits I wouldn't mind describing myself with either. There's bravery and there's also showboating. <laughs> and sometimes the two go together. Not only that, but they're qualities people shouldn't be ashamed of having. Even if it leads to someone thinking you're a fake fan. That's their loss. And going through the response I got to my video, Gryffindors have clearly been subjected to this lack of representation for way too long. They're not even proud to be Gryffindors anymore. It was the Hufflepuffs who were proud and getting angry at me for betraying them. The Gryffindors, on the other hand, were all being extremely welcoming and even self-depleting. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm the most non-Gryffindory person I know yet. I've welcome to the every average house. single the second time smartest, the second, second nicest, and the second, second most shamers. cunning. I wanted to get Hufflepuff too. You guys are supposed to be proud. I mean, this is what happens when you leave Gryffindors unrepresented. They become Hufflepuffs. And if you become too proud of Hufflepuff, you're a Gryffindor. It's a never-ending cycle. And while some of you are probably sat there thinking, well, of course the Hufflepuffs are angry and the Gryffindors are welcoming. That's a natural reaction. No. If I got sorted into Slytherin, they'd have been like, we don't want you. And that's nothing against Slytherins. Ask them. They'll tell you. I'm just trying to make a point that we should want to be in Gryffindor. We shouldn't be getting Gryffindor and be disappointed. No. Arguably, it should be the most coveted house, and maybe 2019 is the year where Gryffindor gets some much-needed representation in the fandom. And while I don't personally think I'm going to be that representation, because a lot of you are telling me there's a full Pottermore sorting quiz online with all the questions you can possibly get, and well, it turns out I was a Hufflepuff after all. At the end of the day, it doesn't even matter. Each of the houses have qualities that they should be proud of, so the truth is, I'm not getting rid of my Hufflepuff stuff. But I'm also getting some Gryffindor stuff, because we shouldn't be fighting each other for being in different houses, we should be fighting them. The fake Gryffindors, the ones who only know about two houses and therefore want to be in the good one. The Tom Holland. Gryffindor, 100% a Gryffindor student, because that's where Harry Potter's from and it's the best one. 
Who's going to go, yeah, I'll be on Hufflepuff? The hybrid house believers, because I mean, if you're going to unironically look someone in the eye and say you're a sliver door, you're lost. It seems like such a stupid thing to get mad about, but it's also just such a stupid thing to believe in. Like, where's the line? Am I allowed to start walking around saying I'm a huffin clin? Huffin clin. I'm so indecisive, I'm in all the houses. The fact there's still a reasonably strong Harry Potter fandom 12 years after the final book's release is unheard of, and we shouldn't be fighting amongst each other. We should be fighting those against us. I wish you guys all a happy new year. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and my last video, I feel like this was like a part one and two. Make sure to leave a like. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking here. You can watch another video by clicking here. You can check out my merch here and in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Late at night walking down the street, you hear a peculiar cry that you... Um... I'm going back. I'm going back on myself.